What's up guys? Didn't get to shoot that much stuff in the gym yesterday just because it was a bit crowded so I didn't want to make anybody feel too uncomfortable. Um, so I'm going to film today and uh, I just waited in a second ago. 0.2 pounds less. So that's where I'm standing. Let's check out the way in. See how heavy I am with the phone today. Oh, what? It was the same. So it was actually the same with uh, with the phone this time. No, without the phone, did I get a pound? <laughs> but 194.6, so 0.2 pounds down. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Just going to take you through some uh, some of my food. You know that. A breakfast time food. Uh, Swish it up today. So I got the omelet. Threw some ketchup on there. I didn't, well, I measured it, but uh, I just basically got one serving exactly. Um, I'm usually not too OCD about ketchup because I don't go crazy in there. We got some low fat cheese in there, four slices of bread. And then these are some, which I'll probably make a video, but it's just nothing too crazy. Just very simple uh, fries, just threw in the oven, like 15 minutes and uh, throw some salt or whatever on there. But got, got the subs on deck, coffee. Yesterday for cardio, I did the sled and that's killer if you haven't done it before, especially on like a... Well, from what I'm hearing, at least, like a rubber gym, gym mat floor. Did I say that right? Like on a gym floor? Rubbery floor, whatever. Do it on a rubbery, rubbery floor. <laughs> or what people are saying is, is more difficult because you're not getting as much traction. But man, that's killer. So we did, it's about, I'd say almost 100 yards. Four times back and forth with one plate on there. And that's like, it's deceivingly hard. So it looks like real easy and you see people do it and yeah, it's not easy, but decided to do that instead of do some interval on the uh, elliptical. So I'll be doing some more cardio today and I'm going to check in with you guys later because I'm trying to eat. Boy, that yolk though. Okay guys, one of these days I promise I'm going to remember to get a full day of eating. But in the meantime, what I have here is um, basically protein ice cream. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it before. There's been a lot of like YouTube pages and whatnot that have uh, have made this recipe, and that's kind of where I got it from. Their Instagram, something I, I can't remember, but. Uh, I'll make a video on how to make it, but it is really tasty depending on what you use exactly. It could be like zero fat, minimal carbs, and really high protein. So really good macro, especially if you are getting towards the, uh, towards the poverty end of your macros or towards the end of a cut or a long cut or, uh, or if you're a female that, that uh, doesn't have a lot of you know macros like us. Heavier set guys or whatever, or uh, not heavier set. I'm not heavy set, but you know what I mean. The way more. That's what I mean. So if you weigh a little bit more, your macros are, tend to start higher. Anyway, just some some uh, some protein ice cream, and it's a little creamier right now. Um, could be a little bit more solid, and it all depends on how long you keep it in the freezer. But uh, give me a like down below if you want me to make a video on how to make this. All right, guys. So I'm going uh, to get to the next meal. Um, probably after this, within like an hour or two, I'm going to be heading to the gym. So hopefully get some footage there. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right. See you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? Can just warm up with uh, 
four sets of 25, really light. The leg extension just gets some blood going in there. And then uh, we'll move on from there to some wide leg presses. Here we go. All right, guys. So to start off my leg exercises, what I've been doing to get some blood flowing and probably what I'll do even when I go back to squatting is just doing some light leg extensions. And I don't go all the way to the top because if I do, I might get more of a contraction, but at the same time, um, I can, and it varies, I can feel some pain on the actual knee. So uh, it really varies and depends on how I feel that day. Hey, last week, I'm doing a uh, leg wide. So let me take this squat. And it's really working my uh, adductors which is good because it's what we use in the squat when I eventually get back to it. Uh -huh. So, going minimal rest times, five sets of eight, and the last set, we do a drop set. All right, gotta get back. From there, what I've been doing is moving on to a wide hack squat or wide leg press. Uh, this angle doesn't really do it justice, but I basically try to get as wide as possible and try to get my foot placement the same way I would in a normal squat. Alright guys, last set. I'm gonna talk too much so I can set my breath, but it's gonna be like a double, triple drop set. Uh, I'll explain why later. See you in a minute. So this is something I have been missing and have not been doing on my normal routine just because I've been you know following other people's programs but I probably will start doing my own programming well, I am currently but I'll have my own program set up for when I do go back to powerlifting but uh, drop sets it's just something I absolutely love and uh, <laughs> you feel uh, it feels completely different it's a different type of workout um, from just doing standard sets and resting three to five minutes it's just a different type of exercise, man. Uh, it's, just, it's just fun. Like, it, to me, it brings the fun back into into lifting. Not that I wasn't having fun before, but like I said, it's just a different type of workout. So the main reason I like to do a drop set was something ridiculous like that, like the 30 or whatever, 20, sometimes 50. But it's just to kind of like a test of, of will, fortitude, just to try it out. So a lot of people will down talk, drop sets or whatnot, but if you can get through something like that, and just thinking about that many reps, kind of just kind of scare people. People will down talk and just say, that's stupid, it's pointless, but what I say to that is kind of proof is in the pudding. So do it, try it, see if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't work. But it's worked for me so far, and, and I enjoy doing it, to be honest with you. But that's the main thing I enjoyed about kind of just getting in the gym and bodybuilding, is that you really get to, for me, it's more of like a mental test than anything. Uh, you know, the aesthetics, or whatnot. That's just an added bonus. Lifting heavy weights, that's an added bonus. But getting in, getting over mental humps, doing things that are like ridiculous, things you never thought you'd ever be, ever be able to do, like 50 reps, 30 reps, something like that. If you tell someone, first time I ever heard that, I'm like, that's crazy. And I tried it and did it, and I'm like, wow. If I could do this much weight for this many reps, you know, what else can I do? So since hearing the... Uh the knee cracking. Uh, I've been doing a lot of single leg movements, uh, like leg extensions being one of them, also doing pistol squats. And another exercise you'll see a little bit later in the video, but I've come to find, and I always knew it, but you know, I, there's some imbalances that I have uh, in my legs and just favoring one leg more than the other. Not necessarily favoring uh, the good leg <laughs> either just because 
over time what happens is you create bad motor patterns and if you don't continue or if you don't fix those motor patterns what's going to happen is your body's going to get accustomed to it and then something will happen or you could possibly get hurt down the line uh, so now that I'm aware and I kind of got a wake up call it's uh, it's just something that I've been doing getting some M balances out of the way and and just basically trying to fix a lot of improper movement So that was a bit lighter than expected. And that's why I did a few more reps on my drop sets. Uh, we're kind of at a weird spot with that. I'm just trying to find my medium. Since I don't want to go too heavy, because that's going to hurt. And if I go too light, it just feels like I'm going through motion. So that's why I did a little bit more. And yeah, I'm not going all the way up for the reason that I just explained. Now I'm going to move on to a single leg uh, uh, Romanian deadlift. Single leg dumbbell Romanian deadlift. <laughs> Alright, I'll see if I get some video. After that, what I am doing are single leg dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. <laughs> and again, it's two fix imbalances. And uh, I feel for example, on this exercise, one of my glutes firing more than the other, or it fatigues faster than the other. So I know that uh, I either wasn't using it as much, or it's just a lot weaker than the other side. And uh, this is a great exercise that will, you know, basically expose it. So that's it guys, this is what I'm kind of, see I'm trying to catch my balance there, uh, just trying to uh, get some, uh, get gain some size, get some hypertrophy and uh, do some physical therapy along the way, trying to get a couple birds knocked out with one stone. Thank you again for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.